<laughs> hey, there you are. Been waiting for you. So very excited about today's video. Today's video in this post freeze and ridiculous rain um, Houston two, three weeks that we have, we call it winter. Um, thankfully it's the 31st of January, so hopefully winter's over now. But today's um, Durham video is about the Durham plan and it's, it's pretty special. So I want you please to spend some time, come in and have a look around. So the reassuring kind of thud of the, the front door belies the beauty and the elegance um, and the softness and the intentionality of what lies behind there. And the theme of this house is very much um, a Durham that we've designed for clients who are family and kitchen centric and it's been a really good project because we've really run through it i mean we we probably broke ground on this house in august and today is the 31st of january and uh, we're shooting this video and the keys i believe are being passed on tomorrow the next day so it's a it, it's not an outrageous amount of time it's just our usual kind of time but you know it's so rewarding to go through that process as a client and just see constant change and constant growth and constant development but also see that it's always been centered around you like this kitchen okay this kitchen is very intentional the client themselves um, they um, without giving too much away uh, love to bake and love to cook and and honestly they've been really kind and they've treated us through the whole process coming in and helping my waistline in the negative way, but my taste buds in the positive way. Um, so please feel free to keep. Um, but what you can see here is we've been very intentional about this space. You know, being at a cleaning station and being at a sink is something that you're gonna spend a lot of time doing. And you can see here with the way that we framed this out with the design team, we've taken that cottage feel and that farmhouse feel and really elevated the look. You've got an elegance here, but you've also got rest. And I don't know many people who think about coming to their kitchen sink, looking out of a frame view like this, enjoying such a beautiful view, and just enjoying being in the space. That's what we've really tried to do here. And then when you look at this side of the kitchen here, the kind of the cooking area, you see a lot of functionality here, but you also see a lot of design. So the symmetry has been accentuated here, not just by the cabinets on both sides and the way that we've designed it with the bump out, but also by the use of um, the natural wood texture and look that is something that's a consistent theme throughout this house. Just little pockets and moments of uh, that natural element that just induces rest. So the other thing you'll notice as well, this is an induction cooktop not our usual um, range top and the reason for that is this house is electric only so if you're building in a community that you need uh, propane or if you just don't want to have natural gas or propane in your house this is a great example of what you can do outside that and I'll save the conversation about the water heaters and things to the plumbing video because that really is where this you know really drives so many benefits and efficiencies um, by having this. Anyway, huge, huge kitchen. This is, you know, a 2,600 square foot house, I think, and huge refrigeration, ovens, loads of places to enjoy space. It doesn't feel like a 2,600 square foot house, um, but you can be the judge of that as, um, as you walk through but let's go on through down here and let's let's hit some of the other areas so the pantry is always something that we really think about we think about it hard from the perspective of storage and also from the perspective of usage i don't want 
you to have to bring your you know blenders and toasters and things like that out into the kitchen if you don't need to i want you to have great storage i want it to be functional i want it to be super deep this is super super deep this is oversized here for storage and i want you to be able to have things and appliances that you can use and so for the client here who um, I know I told you is a wonderful baker. The idea is to be able to bake here and, and to look out when she's working on breads or, or, or other things. I'm not a baker, but just to give that beautiful view out as well. It's, it's something that's a constant theme in all of our homes, is the opportunity to enjoy the space and the light as it moves in different parts of the day from different parts of your house. Anyway. I'm gonna to go to the bedroom. So the bedroom is a little different in this plan. First of all, we have this gorgeous, and to my mind, a perfectly sized um, primary bedroom. Okay, so this is, you know, once you put the bed in here, you'll have a ton of space for other furniture items, sitting, TV, reading nooks, all of the rest of it. The carpet is um, something that I really like because it kind of really deadens the sound. And that's a theme we're gonna come back to in the study as well, um, because this client elected to put carpet in the study and it deadens the sound. And there's a specific reason why I think they want to do that. But um, the view here is spectacular. The, the space, and you really have to experience it with these huge ceilings and it's beautiful tall baseboards and these elegant um, electrical outlets, everything else. But you still have the separation between your bedroom and your bathroom. And so we're gonna go through the bathroom now and just see what that looks like. Well, this is a very unique bathroom, not for so many reasons, but just little pockets of personalization that I really adore. We're obviously still waiting for the mirror to arrive here and that fixture will go in the mirror. But I love these faucets and I love this huge sink. I think this is a really interesting and beautiful addition to a home that some people may want, some people may not, but I love the way it looks because it really kind of centers on the client who are so in love with each other and just this just speaks of togetherness it just makes my heart happy to see this beautiful um, bathtub and i love this kind of custom built-in unit that was done as a linen closet it almost has that apothecarial feel to it and so it really adds some interest and then of course you have the the closet which Again, great use of space, phenomenal use of space, where you have a ton of storage and it seems to be so nicely separated into his and hers. I'll meet you back out here. Yes, I know, powder room, and not what you think, but it does illustrate a great point. A powder room is a great place, one, to create privacy, but also to use design and give pockets of moments of wow in a smaller space. You know, the floor tile, the way it plays into everything else in here, just really kind of allows you to accentuate, oh, powder room with personality. I love that idea. and. The mud space as well, right here. You know, this is an empty nest, a couple, pretty much. And you have a garage, and you have the mud, and you have the pantry, and you have the powder, and it's separated from the majority of the living. And it just gives people privacy, and it gives people functionality. It's conveniently located, but it's not in earshot. So the beauty of this space in the Durham plan is you get the best of so many different worlds. You have this lovely space here that can be used as a formal dining or a game space, um, you know, or anything like that. Or even you could use it as a small library or reading area or just a, a, a nook to be able to, to relax in. 
Um, and I love the way they've tied these four over one windows in just to give it that cottage vibe. But it's also part of a larger space that incorporates a casual dining area as you walk in and also this living space. So to give it its full you know, impact, you really got to wait until the furniture's in, but the space and the bones are here so that when the furniture comes in, you get to get up in the morning, come out and see, oh wow. You get to come in in the evening and see, oh wow. The general theme of this space is, oh wow, um, I'm really happy for these guys. So the study again is an area where it kind of, as you can hear from my voice, even without furniture, the echo's kind of gone. You know, having this carpet can be beautifully elegant. It's not everyone who wants to have carpet or will live with carpet. But if you work in radio and you may have to do some broadcasting from the study, for example, this um, would probably be a trick to be able to dampen that down. So the guest bedrooms are very important as well because you really want to separate those zones, or I do. I want to separate um, intimate family, guest, and primary or owner suites from each other. I also want to separate bedrooms from living spaces so that you know guests can feel comfortable. Um, so in, in this instance, what we've done is a, a couple of bedrooms. You can have a look at the, the Durham plan and, and get all kinds of ideas, like anything's possible. but. Um, within reason. Um, but these bedrooms are really done nicely. And I think if you're a guest, you know, this would be a wonderful place to come and spend a few days with family. Go and have a look. Thank you very much for coming. This has been somewhat of a whirlwind visit of a Durham plan that we've imagined in a certain style. I love the use of beams. I love the space, the, the size and the um, enormity, the volume that you experience here is not what you expect from a house of this size. Um, the Durham started life as, um, let's take the Winchester almost, and make it smaller, um, a mini Winchester, a Minchester. Anyway, the idea is that you can have, like our model home has here, but you don't have to have 46, 4,700 square feet. The Durham is a great example of that. I have more Durhams coming up. I'm really excited to be able to show them to you, but we have to get on and finish cleaning this house, ready for our homeowners that are coming tomorrow so I am going to ask you please to mind the step on the way out and I'll see you in the next video.